Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard and today I'm coming to you from Tracy Arm Fjord. Well, what is a fjord? It is a glacial valley and we're going to do something pretty cool today. Let me show you what we're looking at. Uh, we're going to do something pretty cool today. We're actually going to go on a shore excursion on a sea day. Who would have thought about that? The ship's actually, this ship's not going to start stop moving. The big cruise ship I'm on. It's going to start doing some little turns and stuff when it gets towards the glacier. But we're going to get on, hopefully, they do, they do cancel this about 50% of the time. Uh, but it's looking good so far. We're going to get on a tiny little boat that's going to go off of the big boat. It's called the Glacier Explorer. And right now I'm sitting on, well, standing on deck five of a cruise ship. And yes, you can really appreciate the scale of what's going on. You can see the icebergs, you can see the mountains. These are gonna get a lot icier in the next hour as we get closer and closer to the actual glacier. But you really can't experience, number one, the enormity of it or the closeness of it. The cruise ship will get pretty much at the closest, a couple football fields away from the glacier. But these little boats, little, you know, relatively speaking to a giant cruise ship, these little boats are gonna get significantly closer. So it gives us a chance to go right up to the icebergs. Well, we don't really want to go right up to the icebergs, you know, boats and icebergs don't really mix, but uh, we can actually get glacier teenies uh, with the ice. We can have a lot of fun. Uh, we can see animals on the coast and we can go less than a football field away normally from the actual glacier. You don't really want to get much closer than that because the ice falls off all the time. And when the ice falls off, you get a wave and you want the ship to still float. So that's why the big boat has to stay further away because it does not want to hit an iceberg. So in about an hour, hopefully, all things uh, considering, we are going to be leaving the safety and comfort, I say that sarcastically and lovingly, the safety and comfort of a giant cruise ship with all its nice lifeboats and stuff like that. And on right in that murky, silty water onto the Tracy Arm Glacier Explorer. So come along. And let's see if this is a tourist trap or not. I've done it a few times before. I love it. But um, tourist traps, tips, tips and tricks with no pants profits. I will see you on a sea day excursion. That's not a behind the scenes tour. See you in a few. So if you were wondering what kind of boat we're going to go off the big boat on uh, and see the little boat, I want to give you some scale because it's going to be really hard to show you scale. But we're on a full size cruise ship now. And you should see right by that snow melt, you see that little tiny boat right there? Yeah, that might not be the exact boat we're getting on. It might be going for another cruise ship, but that is the size of the boat we're getting on. I'm going to jump to another camera, zoom in a bit, uh, and kind of show you that boat a little more up close because this camera doesn't have zoom, but this will just give you a perspective on the size of that little boat in relation to our giant cruise ship. So you can see that little boat now, little relatively speaking. You can see like from the big cruise ship, that boat is literally the size of the icebergs. It's got both an indoor and an outdoor section and usually has hot drinks included in your tour. We'll see when we get there, as well as they will definitely have alcoholic drinks available. Glacier teenies that are made with the actual glacier ice. So yeah, this is just going to pull up to the side of the boat in a about 25 minutes time and we are going to hop on board our glacier explorer tour so we are on the little boat right now and we've got a front row ticket to the glacier show you can kind of see we're on a tiny little boat and there's the giant boat and there's the icebergs there's the guy letting you on uh, it gives you a different perspective than you saw a few minutes ago in the video when we were up on deck five we're now like deck negative two uh if we're if we're counting from boat level so we're about seven stories lower right now than we were on the actual boat uh, and it's a different scenario but you know I, I really think Bill's gonna hold the seat it's time to go look for some glacier teenies yeah it is especially because we got we got a table right here that's the right way to do this and my favorite of these strange events on a sea day uh, we are not docked anywhere. This is not tendering on a sea day. They are uh, going to take up this gangway. I don't know if this gangway belongs to the boat or belongs to th this boat or the, or the big ship. We're about to figure out. Uh, no, I think it belongs to the big ship. And they're going to pull that boy in. No. No. Uh, we're trying to figure out who owns it. No, it looks like it belongs to this little boat. And we are now free floating on our own 
towards the glacier, which the people on board the boat won't even get to see today. So they don't have the glacier ice yet. They're going to pick it up and make it, but we are literally sailing away. Uh, could be. Yeah, that's one of them. There's a couple we can potentially see. But we are leaving the big ship on the little ship, and I have my glacier teeny made with normal ice, which makes me kind of sad, but trust me, they're going to wrangle a glacier. They said they ran out last time on the way back because it's a carnival ship and so many people wanted glacier teenies on the way. Glacier Rita's. This is a glacier Rita. It's a margarita mix, blue food coloring, tequila, and a kind of a disaster if you have too many of them. Ooh. Oh, damn. Ooh. Yeah, it's mostly just tequila. I'll catch you in a minute. Let's see what we find out here at the, on the glacier. Hey, hey, look. They just said free donut holes. I am a man that is totally down for a free donut hole. Especially because I haven't had breakfast yet. So, <laughs> free donut hole. Watch it down. The glacierita. Real good. We're not even at the glacier yet, but I want to give you some kind of navigational uh, awareness. Uh, this is where the cruise ship is right behind us. You will see there's a little speck that looks like a cruise ship. Uh, you only see it if you're really full screen. Uh, and this is where we are right now. So if you're saying, is it worth it, especially early in the season, this is pretty much the only way you're going to see the glacier is by coming on one of these little boats. Well, the glacier you oh. see at your 12 o'clock, that is South Sawyer Glacier. Here today, when we see wildlife or something exciting that we want to point out to you, we're going to make sure we're using the clock system. So I just told you that number 12 is at our very front, meaning that number 6 is at the very back of the boat for the stern. Our left-hand side or port side will be numbers 7 through 11. And on our right or starboard side, we've got numbers 2 through 5. So if I see something exciting, I'm going to go like I did as an example. At our 12 o'clock, we have South Sawyer Glacier. So we have in front of us right now, South Sawyer Glacier. I think we're gonna visit a couple today, but uh, we got South Sawyer right in front of us right now. I think we'll probably get there and do a little spin, but you can see there's a lot more icebergs. Now, this is where the cruise ship would normally try and come to when the ice field's not as bad. They don't really want to knock a cruise ship up through a bunch of ice, and if you see a lot of ice there, uh, that's that's the reason the cruise is staying exactly where it is, is that little thumbnail photo. And we are continuing forward towards the glacier, and hopefully we'll see some calving, which is the ice falling off the glacier now. This camera is not going to be able to capture the calving, but I do have a phone in my pocket that can capture the calving. So I'm probably going to switch to a different camera and I'll do a voiceover later just so you can kind of see what's going on and where we are navigationally overall. So I do I do want to show you just how close we get to the glacier. You might hear these little pinging and that's actually the ice that's hitting the, the boat. Now this is a catamaran so generally there's not that much surface area contacting the ice. But this is the South Sawyer Glacier. Okay, you heard that boing. That's actually ice hitting the side. Not big thing, little chunks. But you can see, there we go. There is the glacier right there. I'm hoping we can actually see some calving today, but uh, it's a big hope. But we're right in the front of the boat, and this is the uh, heated uh, section of the boat. We just got to do little vents right here, and we'll see if uh, we're going to get some calving. Who knows? So we just saw some seals. I don't have them with this camera, but I am going to insert some clips from my Samsung phone. The main reason I have a Samsung phone is it's got a 10 times zoom built in. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy S22, 21, 20 Ultra. Great camera. They're going to put it in the iPhone soon, but we are right near the glacier. So you can see the glacier right there. Oh, they're going to rotate around. I think this is as close as we're going to get. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll get some calving. I'm going to switch to another camera where we might actually see some calving going on at the glacier, which is when the ice falls off the side. No guarantees, though, because there's no guarantees when it comes to calving.
We're not quite to pupping season yet, which is where they have their babies. But when we get there, their pups or their babies, they look like cocktail wings. Hey guys, we're just kind of making our way through the ice here. Everything's going super great. I'm thinking maybe we should open up that third deck. So, please wait for one of my crew. Let's see. They're going, they're going fishing for glacieritas right now. Hopefully no one falls in the drink. That's all I'm saying, because that drink is cold. Oh, getting a new, uh, a new life jacket there. Oh, they're swapping. Because he took the small one and she took the big one. So they're swapping. They're, they're going to go fishing. And hopefully they're going to fish and we can have a... They're not looking for fish, let's be very clear. I'm being facetious when I say they're going fishing. Um, but hopefully... They gonna get an iceberg. What well, define ice fishing? I mean, that's technically fishing for ice, which is what they're doing right now. Dipping. Okay, she's got the net. She's playing basketball. Nothing but net. I think. Like how many licks does it get to take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? But uh, how much does it take to fish some ice? Basically, we're, we're, we're shooting fish in a barrel right now. Uh, there's so much ice out here. He's just going to dip his net in and hope we get some margarita ice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that margarita ice. Everybody's going to cheer when he brings up the margarita ice. Nothing? Oh my god. He's the shack of getting net. <laughs> what? He's the shack of getting net? Is that what you said? He don't got no big chicken? Hashtag carnival joke. Okay, here we go. She's holding him by his vest. Did he got it? Did he get it? He's going for two. We got a two for. It's a big double. It's a big it's double. A big double. <laughs> Just don't go to off the grill on the Carnival Luminosa. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> Have you been there? No, oh, don't go. Chance to get. <laughs> oh my. 
we have ice. Yeah, there is oh, the South Sawyer Glacier. Up. And the margaritas roll. let the margaritas roll. We're going to greet the Margo man. Let's greet the Margo man. Or if he falls in to point and laugh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh! Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. But you know why it's that, uh, hey, it's the only time we can use the intro twice. That's ice, ice, baby, but you know why it's that clear? Because dun, 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 dun. It was under pressure. Yes! I found a use of both of those at the same time. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Clear, because it's under pressure. Oh, God. I hate myself right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it even gets its own silver platter. That's, that's a towel. On a piece of plastic. It's a silver platter. A cafeteria tray. <laughs> a cafeteria tray. Silver platter or a towel and a <laughs> So Bill, would you like a glacier teeny? Of course I would. Okay. Yeah, we just laid on that. We just laid on that. We done pooped <laughs> on it. Do you want to know what we really did on it? Okay, here we go. Four minutes oh. after they went outside. I'll help her. Gotta go I got her. Wait a oh, she got to go that way. She okay. Go that way. And go. she's bringing the ice. Oh. Okay, it's time to race. Oh, and it's time to pre order our glacier teeny. That's glacier. Glacierita. Well, well, glacier feritas, but oh, we wait to pre order it. Let's have another donut. Oh, mm. Donut. Get in line to get one while the ice is good. All right, so the guys, they're in the back. They, they're they're uh, Jeffrey Dahmering the ice. So they're dismembering that giant block of ice into tiny pieces. Then they're going to put it in some lye. And then, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. They're not going that far, Dexter Morgan. Um, found a bear. Oh. Bill found a bear. Yeah. They sell Bill, bears. you haven't been in this video. What they, are you thinking of this tour so far? They sell they sell little bears. Hey, what do you think of this tour so far? Go ahead. It's a great it's a great. You want a blueberry mojito? I mean, I kind of do, because I've never had a blueberry they mojito. Have, uh, look, look at all the beer choices they have. Mother ale. Mother ale, but they're yeah. missing one. Single engine red from the Nolly. Do you see Alaskan I amber? Liked it. Do you see Alaskan? That, that's actually okay, but the Canada ones are better. Um, yeah. The Canada ambers and browns are better. I like the Denali brewing stuff though. I do. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll try some of those on the way back. But we, we got to get... So they have the grizzly and the polar bear. One of them is with a uh, Bailey's. One of them is with hot chocolate. But the Glacierita, we already had one. We just didn't have it with the Glacierita ice. So, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There's the ice. They've got... Huh? Go ahead. My honest opinion is that they tell everyone to wear multiple, multiple layers of clothing. And I am dying in here. It is so warm. Okay, then take your clothes off. Go ahead. All right, so we're getting. He, they just uh, chopped up that glacier ice. I bet they. We're gonna get two too, so you might as well pour four. Yeah. Make your life easy, and you don't have to. Oh wait, you're running out. I know you have more in the back. I do have more in the back. Yes. <laughs> once we run out, we just start making a different drink with the same. Glacier. With the same glacier ice. Yep. Oh, the tipsy ice oh, so you have a different drink. Okay. Yes. So we kind of want you to run out after we get ours. Okay. That's what you're saying. Those chips are not free. They're two dollars. All right. Donuts are white. That's it. Donuts, coffee, tea. Twenty. All right. So we'll get our. We will get our glacierita. Okay. I'll be right back with you. And we have our glacierita with glacier ice right up here on the top deck. South Sawyer Glacier right behind us. There's no air in that ice. It's like the exact opposite of the whole uh, uh, nugget ice where you get nothing but air. This glacierita is good. There's a long line for glacierita. But when they run out of glacierita, they make different glacier drinks because that's just kind of what you do here on the Tracy Arm Glacier Explorer. Ooh. So good out here at the glacier. 
we got an iceberg on the right right here that could legit take out the titanic remember like two to ten percent of the iceberg is out of the water the rest is under the water remember most of your ice doesn't float on your drink most of your ice is uh, submerged in the drink because the density of it so uh yeah i think what we're doing is we're actually headed towards the coast now away from the glacier towards the coast and why we're doing that is we're doing that to look for some wildlife so you never know what kind of wildlife we'll find if we do find some wildlife on the way back to the boat i'm going to take it with my other camera uh, and i'll insert it in this video so you can kind of see but i don't see any wildlife quite yet but you'll hear we've been kind of hitting these little glaciers here and there but this is designed for that this is up oh, there we go there was a boink uh, this is designed specifically for this. You'll see there's another one of the boats out in the distance there. I think that's probably from the Luminosa as well. Uh, and they might have found something. So we might be chasing them maybe for a bear, some goats, something like that. We will just have to wait and see. Still working on Glacier Rita number two with the actual glacier ice. We're going to try some other stuff. They got Denali Brewing and some other stuff like that. And hopefully we'll get to hold a big iceberg later too. You never know. My glacier is getting empty, but much like the Teletubbies, I'm a fan of uh, Tinky Winky, so we go again, again, and get more glacieritas. We are headed away from the glacier now. We spent about an hour at the glacier, rotating around, doing stuff like that. We're headed away from the glacier now, back towards the ship, but it's not over yet, because the most important thing people want to see is they want to see the glacier, but we go back, not in the middle, but along the coastlines, and sometimes you'll see animals. You don't want to be outside uh, because the speakers don't really work outside, but you hang out inside until they say, there's a bear, there's a goat, or something like that, and you grab the zoom off your camera and zoom in. But I'm going to get myself another glacierita. All right, so we have drink number three, four, something like that. It's actually got a local vodka, blue curacao, and Sprite in it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I've given out samples for some reason. I'm like, I'm like the Costco man. It's just vodka Sprite. Yeah. It's vodka Sprite, blue curacao. It's the blue for color. I get it. I get it. Bill's trying to coach me off screen. He's like writing my damn script. Like, would you, would you? Would you like to do your own channel or with Ka oh wait he have, thinks he's Kathy he thinks he's Kathy Lee Gifford uh, I'm gonna link that right here hey, so hey, you can hey, see hey. it if you could see me now here I'm on a fun ship crew. wait actually we're not on the fun ship right now what, what, we're what not kind on. of ship is this is this uh, a I, boat I mean it's got glacier oh, ice drinks catamaran. it's got glacier ice drinks oh, hey you know what okay, it, it, it hold compliments on. my eyes hold on I'm coming here Bill here's the question it seems like the scenery on this... Are my eyes bluer or... It seems like the scenery on this is um, very similar to the train, would you say? Like, similar, same, same, but different, but still same. Uh, I feel but, like we're, we're... But you can't drink floating. on the train. I feel like we're floating in the Grand Canyon right but, now can with a you, bunch of icebergs. Can you drink on the train? Well, I mean, I did, but can, should you drink on the train? Yeah, they have a very strict no alcohol rule on the train. <laughs> and do you know what they very have on... strict. Do you know what they have on the boat? A very strict <laughs> fun ship rule. So the question is, is this just an extension of the fun ship? No, you know why? Because they don't limit your alcohol consumption here. We still got 15 inch for the 15 inch. Oh God, I wish I had 15 inch. Uh, we still have 15 each for the rest of the day uh, to have on board the fun ship, which should be coming back into view pretty soon. You know, I've hearkened back on this Glacier Explorer to my favorite MLM scam of all time. Because uh, they have an MLM scam on board this book. It's called book on board the, oh, the, 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 the drinks are taking place on board this boat. They got an MLM scam. It's called Zoo Books. Uh, I remember Zoo Books. They try and get you to buy all the animals in the zoo uh, from A, I mean, I guess uh, antelope to zebra. All the animals from A to Z. And this is the Zoo Books on Eagles. And it looks like it's aged exactly as expected. Uh, we are not back in view of our ship yet, but we're still, we got a naturalist on board who's looking out for some wildlife. We saw the seals already, as you saw earlier, but hopefully maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see a bear. Oh, we're gonna go see the other glacier. No, no, <laughs> this is the better glacier. Uh, so maybe we'll see a bear on our way back. For my next drink, I went from cold to hot. This is called the Polar Bear. It's peppermint schnapps, hot chocolate, 
and Jameson. Now you're gonna try it along with me for the first time. Ooh, try. Peppermint schnapps, hot chocolate. Jameson, we're watching for your reaction, Bill. I'm going to assume this is going. If, if, if this is nothing, if this is anything less than Christmas in a cup, I'm going to be disappointed. It's very close to Christmas in a cup. So, it reminds me of going to Olive Garden, and you get an Andy. Is that where your family? Everyone's family at Olive Garden. Oh wait, Fast and Furious just came out this past week too. So both uh, Olive Garden and Fast and Furious, everyone's family. Okay. Yes. That. Yeah. Um, I think it's a little. There's just a little bit too much peppermint in this, but it's. Uh, it's peppermint schnapps. Stop complaining. I schnapps complain anymore. Waka waka. This is a very very punny episode of No Pants Profits. Uh, I'll take my drink back. Thank you. You know what's funny? I, 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 I keep looking for the ship. I keep telling you the ship's going to be in front of us. But here's the funny thing. The ship left us. Sometimes when you actually do this tour, believe it or not, not right now, but I call it the time travel tour. Because if you're uh, coming from up north, this will actually, the boat, this little boat will meet your boat at Juno. Because it comes from Juno. So uh, we're going to catch up with the ship. All right, so... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm just counting my empty cups. Uh, seven, this is a full one, uh, drinks deep. And I thought I was seeing things. I thought I was back in Egypt and seeing things, but there's an oasis. Well, I mean, it's not an oasis, not Royal Caribbean, but uh, there's a Luminosa, Wingardian Luminosa uh, out there in the front so believe it or not i call this the time travel tour now why do i call this the time travel tour because you miss nothing the ship's sailing out of the fjord you're sailing out of the fjord you're just catching up the only thing you're missing is brunch in the dining room that's if you're on a carnival ship that's the only thing you're missing we're gonna go back we're probably gonna have some chinese food some barbecue and uh try and choke down some burgers from off the grill on the ship but uh you can oh, see <laughs> yeah you haven't tried them yet, have you, Bill? <laughs> if you say, hey, what's the worst thing about the Carnival Luminosa? The answer is off the grill. Off the grill is god-awful. Uh, they took the worst part of, uh, of Guy's Burgers, the worst part of Shaq's Big Chicken, and the worst part of Guy's Barbecue and said, let's just take the worst of everything and put it in one restaurant. Now, logistically, if you watch my review of the ship, why that is is because they have, like, no room to work with, but they really should have just, like, given up there. But uh, we're chasing the Luminosa. We're probably about a mile behind the Luminosa. And we're going, hold on. I need my iPhone. If, if, uh, no, if, no, no, no. You, you, what if, are you trying to say? If Guy was actually uh, on that ship and he tried the burger, he would sue. All right, so. <laughs> get, get, get yeah, All right, let's do a speed test. Not, not an internet speed test. Let's see how fast we're going here. We are going 25 miles per hour. We are actually going about four miles per hour faster than the Luminosa in front of us is going. I know how to convert miles per hour to knots. Well, actually, hold on. Let's go knots. Luminosa's top speed is 21 knots. I don't think it's going its top speed right now. But, yeah. So we're going one knot faster than the top speed of the Luminosa. And it seems like uh, we're going to catch up. At least I hope we're going to catch up. And if we don't catch up, we mustard? We barbecue sauce? We A1? Or since it's a carnival ship uh, that's uh, normally in Alaska, I guess we, instead of we don't catch up, we uh, Vegemite. But you'll see, <laughs> there is... Everything on, on board is... Uh, is Australian, yeah, yeah. So it's tomato sauce, not ketchup. Yes, ketchup-y. that's why I said Vegemite. I, I made the joke. So yeah, we're going the uh, one knot above the top speed of the Luminosa right now, and it really does not look like Luminosa's doing top speed, because it's just going to catch again tomorrow, which is a couple miles away. But I think we're headed towards the coast. Maybe we'll find something on our chase back. Uh, it's actually really cool because we can see a lot of the fjord from a lower level. We saw it this morning from a higher level. But I saw it in Launderwear. It wasn't part of this video. And you don't want to see that video. <laughs> Just saying. So our time on the Glacier Explorer has almost come to an end. The cool thing is I didn't get it on video because no one was expecting it. Like I said, no one expects to see whales 
in the uh, glacial area because of so much tilt, but we did actually see, and I've done this tour a lot of times before, we saw a whale here for the first time, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, I have uh, number eight right here. We are done with uh, glacial ice, and we're back to this thing called ice. I know this isn't a whale line, normal, but normal. I'm having a well of humpback knowledge yep. that I'm dying to share with you She all. says she knows this so is in a whale watch. roughly how large they are. Yeah. So uh, we are almost back to the Luminosa right there. So we'll be back soon enough. And for some ungodly reason, we have now overtaken the Carnival Luminosa. I really, I really can't figure that one out. Uh, I, I believe that uh, they think we're on the Holland America ship, which is up here. I'm just making that up. Maybe. We're going full speed toward the iceberg. We're literally going full speed towards the iceberg. I think our captain is Captain Scatino. Uh, just say, just, just say, Scatino. Get back on board. Oh. oh, that's why we're going to the iceberg. There's a bald eagle on the tip of the iceberg. Insert photo here. Bald eagle on an iceberg in Alaska, nine drinks deep. Uh, if you're playing bingo, you just got the cover all bingo card of Alaska. And even better, zero drinks on the cruise ship. So that's nine plus 15 plus chef's table. Yeah, tonight, it's gonna be as, as the youngins call, I'm 35, I'm not a youngin anymore. Tonight is gonna be lit. Uh, but yeah, you saw those pictures. Bald eagle in Alaska in a fjord on a teetering iceberg. Never seen anything like that before. The best tip I got for you, um, get drink number 10, hang out in these front seats like me and Bill do. Well, he's, he's not on drink number 10, I am. And uh, just wait for everyone else to get off the boat because it's a time travel trip. Uh, none of this actually even happened. And if you are a casino player or on the beverage package, even though you're 10 deep, you still got 15 more on board. When we get back on board, we'll talk a little bit more about this experience, but I'm just gonna sit. Finish Glacerita, number 10, while they uh, get ready to tie everything up and move the gangway on board for Carnival Luminosa. Oh my god, the guy is telling so much bullshit right now. That's what's funny. He's making up bullshit about the guy having a lime tree to make the glacierita. Um, yeah, um, point of Luminosa right there. We're waiting to dock. The other boat's docking on one side, we're docking on another, and then the Luminosa is going to continue on its sea day. Catch a can for about four hours tomorrow morning, where we're going to be back with you looking at the Lumberjack Show and some other stuff and then Victoria the next day and then Seattle the next day and it's like it never ends here at No Pants Profits. All right so little ship is back to the side of big ship. We are a couple couple, couple hours in the future. Uh, the Illuminosa has stopped and you'll see they've got the shell doors are but kind of funny the ship I used to work on I actually have the keys to it not to the engine but to the shell doors and you can see they are uh, looping around because there are two different places on the ship. One says tug, one says no tug, and those are actually the spa rooms on board. And for some reason, they're on the outside of the ship. So you know whether it's a tug or no tug room. Unfortunately, on cruise ships, most of them are no tug rooms. Uh, but we got the guys waiting to go. Oh, no, she's trying, she's trying. Juvie's trying. That's just what her life jacket says. I'm assuming that's actually her name. Uh, but we've actually got a... It's Bella. It says Juvie. Her name is Bella. I know, but her life jacket says she's in prison for kids that are under 18. It says Juvie. Am I wrong, Bill? Always. Did, did you hate the excursions the last two days? No. Well, I chose them, didn't I? 
Yes, I did. Was I wrong? Mm, yes. He's just saying that. Yeah. He's just saying that for the giggles. Oh. We're just extending the video time now. No, I'm not going to do that because I don't do that. Nor do I ever say this like and subscribe stuff because if you like it, you're going to like it. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. I ain't going to bet YouTube. And I'm going to stop the video right now because they don't look that they're anywhere near tying it up because she's trying to still get that rope erect enough to go in the hole. I, I said I wasn't going to say it on video, but uh, you saw the girl trying to get the rope through and the guy got the rope through on the first shot. They're going to bring up the gangway now, but we can tell what team the girl actually plays for. Uh, she hasn't played with a direct rope for many years. I think she's more of a taco player than a rope player. Um, toss it up there. And one, two, three, hoop, hoop, hoop. And Tiny Boat has been connected back to Big Boat. And we have come full circle here. Uh, and I still have a drink left to finish. So we're going to let everyone else get off. Then we'll pack up, get off ourselves, and discuss our day on board. The Glacier. <laughs> we're saying it in fancy French because Bill loves fancy French. The Glacier Explorer. Glacier Explorer. Mm. That's a great drink. All right, and as normal, Mr. No Pants, the captain, the fake captain, is the last person. So back on board uh, and uh, 11 drinks deep fake captain last one back on board I'm taking that yeah, I'm taking that no I'm good come on come on how many packs off the ship how many packs am I the last one again oh. last packs I'm back on the ship so, let's talk about this tour real quick. I love the Tracy Arm Glacier Explorer. When I used to actually work on ships, I would do this for my lunch break. Deep, dark, dirty, dirty secret. Uh, yeah, that's just gonna take you off the boat into the, into the drink. You wanna go in the drink? It's cold in the drink. Ah, uh, someone's trying to go out to the drink. I love the Tracy Arm Glacier Explorer. Dirty secret, dirty secret. I didn't tell Bill, I told him this morning. Uh, I actually love it more than the train. Uh, if you watch the train, which was the video that came out before this. If you watch the train, um, you, this, this is still my favorite overall. Um, love it, great tour. It's going to sell out. When you book your cruise, book the Tracy Arm Glacier Explorer. I do not work for any cruise line. I don't have any relationship with any cruise line. I have no affiliate links. I do like Carnival because I'm a degenerate and I like to gamble on Carnival cruises and they give me some money for different stuff. Not because I promote this stuff, but because I'm a degenerate and I like to gamble. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you, just getting off. Look, and no one's behind me on the Glacier Explorer reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing that you have left to lose. And you know what, Bill, what is it? Come on, come on, shirt. say it again. Your shirt. Yeah, it's your shirt. Have a great one. From Tracy Arm, headed to Ketchikan. Bye.